one, conditions of imprisoned Guanabadi women raise concern. Amnesty International said in a statement issued on May 25th, women prisoners of conscience from Iran's Gonabadi Devesh religious community are being subjected to verbal abuse, including sexual slurs, and denied proper medical treatment by doctors and other health professionals at Shara Eray Prison on the outskirts of Tehran. Amnesty International has received testimonies indicating that the doctors at the prison, a former industrial chicken farm in Baramin, are routinely dismissing the women's complaints of pain and discomfort as fake while refusing to prescribe the medication on a timely basis or carry out diagnostic tests. Funeral ceremony of the popular movie star Nazair Malek Matei with the slogan Death to the Dictator. On Sunday, May 27th, the funeral ceremony of the famous Iranian cinema star Nazair Malek Matei with the participation of a big crowd of Iranian people and fans of this late artist turned into an anti-regime demonstration. The participants, who were angry at the regime's anti-Iranian and anti-art treatment of Nazar Malek Matei, chanted death to the dictator, hail to Nazar, and our disgrace is our state radio and TV. Nationwide strike of truck drivers continues for the fifth day. On Saturday, May 26th, the strike of heavy vehicles and truck drivers continued for the fifth day and spread to more parts of the country, covering 224 cities in all 31 provinces. Strikers in many cities parade with long lines of trucks by honking and keeping their headlights on. The clerical regime continued to crack down on strikes yesterday. Repressive forces attacked striking drivers in many areas, such as Bandar Abbas Sirjan route, Isambard Garb, Makalin, and Hamadan, with electric shockers and tear gas, wounding and injuring a number of strikers. Protest by retirees against social security organization in Karambad, Iran. Around noon on Saturday, May 26th, a group of retirees from Luristan province gathered in front of the building of the General Director of Social Security Organization in Karambat and organized a protest rally. According to the protesting retirees, the salary and pension payments are not according to class processes and their deposits have been delayed. Iran officials stop Deaf Girls Sign Language song saying it resembles dancing. Iranian officials have prevented a group of deaf girls from performing a song in sign language because their body movements resemble dancing, which is outlawed in public spaces in the Islamic Republic. The group's director said, Unfortunately, those who do not understand disabled people came and easily cancelled the performance. Iran. Shocking number of early and forced marriages. East Azerbaijan province leads the Iranian provinces in the early marriages of girl children aged 10 to 15, ranking only second to Khorasan Razavi province in northeastern Iran. 3,944 girls between 10 and 14 years old got married in 2015. Most of these marriages took place in villages and rural areas. One year later, in 2016, this number reached 4,165 marriages.